Point of order. Um, there's no public comments listed in the agenda. Actually, there are just questions and comments from board and public. Um, um, so let's. So there, but every meeting. Excuse me. I just want to complete the thought. Every meeting, according to the Brown Act, there's an uh, open time for public to talk to things, not specifically on the agenda. That's actually not accurate. That's only for regular like, meetings, not for special meetings. Are you certain of that? I'm positive. Okay, so let's move on to item B, the budget presentation. Item 1, we have the draft budget for fiscal year 2019. Meeting, so that column is updated. Uh, kind of going through a couple of things. At the end of the day, still predicting a net operating gain of uh, over 400000 Again, that's strictly operating, uh, looking at revenue and expenditure over uh, the course of one year. Total over a million dollars in the last two fiscal years that uh, continues to move us in the right direction. Obviously, I left notes in that same paragraph regarding uh, looming OPEB uh, and pension long-term unfunded liabilities as well as the district uh, being committed to building uh, various and critical reserves. Uh, one of the things you'll notice here is that I did consolidate the redundant and uh, insignificant GL accounts. Uh, run four points about those and within the actual budget itself. Uh, you'll notice that those uh, cell that happens, we'll have to relook at where we are financially and uh, we will bring a uh, recommendation to the board at that time. We're estimating it to be approximately eighty dollars to $100,000 uh, expenditure to resurface both the top pool and the main pool. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to bring up within the fire department um, was on the vegetation management. I'm sure you noticed that that uh, funding has doubled, uh, still not significant amounts, but from 20 to 40,000, and that's based on sitting down with the vegetation management coordinators at Santa Fe, looking at maps of our areas and ways that they think we could most efficiently use our limited resources. Uh, and then on the long-term debt, just to clarify, uh, what used to be listed in capital outlay was our engine lease and it was the combined total of principal and interest. I've moved that out of there and that is now listed under long-term debt principal for the principal amount and long-term debt interest, which explains uh, the large spike in long-term debt, even though for auditing purposes it's always been recorded under long-term debt. So from our accounting perspective, we got it out of there. Otherwise, uh, I am happy to feel any questions? Uh, although the other, I do have one more point. Sorry, uh, and this was kind of brought up as a question, just to recognize that uh, within uh, on the rec, uh, especially on the rec revenue side, under pool operating revenue, pool memberships, and some of rec programs, those are all subject to deferred revenue. Uh, as you will notice, uh, the actuals are extremely higher than budgeted in a lot of accounts. That's because we've received a lot of revenue that at the end of the year in one transaction we then calculate how much is for services provided <coughs> next year because we're on a modified accrual basis and then we will move that into a deferred. Uh, Luke did run some numbers for me uh, and we're still tracking where I would expect to track but if you wanted them I do have some updated numbers on the actuals for those. And that will all right, uh, questions, comments from the board? Discussion? Okay, I'm going to go through the answer. Okay, Isabel? Aye. Okay, I'll open it up to the public. Questions, comments from the public? Yes. Linda? Uh, and this is about the memo, okay? Um, I was wondering if we have 400, well, it's estimated. 440k operating gain. Why can't we just add another hundred thousand to OPEB? Just I, you know, you're saying maybe we can add to it. Um, if it's possible, we can add to it. Why don't we just add to it and force ourselves to not spend every single penny? Can we do that? Well, that wouldn't be my decision. First off, I know, but I don't know who made this decision. The, the board made the decision. Okay, so I'm just asking, 
the board if you can't see in advance to just add 100000 to OPED spending, or the, the trust fund, whatever it is, and that way, in advance, you won't have to spend a lot of extra money because you won't have that extra money. The other thing I wanted to ask about was why are you giving the uh, park workers the 3% raise? Oh, now, granted, I, I never get up into Creekside, and I'm not up here in the park and pool area very much. I am near the pool, I'm near the tennis courts, I'm in the panhandle, I'm on the pathways, and those are all a mess. There's weeds, 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 weeds everywhere. And just recently I noticed a few days ago, I mean some of the weeds were this side, and I noticed that they did cut back on some of the weeds in the park, but then they left the weeds between the sidewalk and the street three feet tall. And then they finally cut those weeds down, but then they left big piles of debris all along the street. So, I mean, there's weeds everywhere, and you plan to add a beautification to around the porta potty. There's never a way that that's going to be cleaned of weeds. It's just a mess. So I just think three percent is excessive. And um, I also was wondering why you want to increase the enrollment into the camps because. Last year, you only really gained $13,000. The other $7,000 was from not spending as much money on chlorine. So you save $7,000 on chlorine, and you gain $13,000 in the camps. And this year, you're spending more and more on contractors because you don't have, oh, when you don't have Miller Creek Middle School because of construction or something. Why are you spending, uh, why do you continue to want to add to this and only gain back a teeny, teeny bit? Um, financially it doesn't make sense to me and as far as the pool work goes I know you're going to be using measure a funds and I know that that was one of the things that you guys had said you would want to spend a hundred thousand dollars on if there was any measure a money left after the park maintenance shed construction and stuff um, I would think that if you could think logically enough to look at the park maintenance shed project and reduce the size and reduce the spending and logically understand that the zigzag inside drive-through isn't going to work and that you have to have a driveway that goes across the front of the building and I mean there's lots and lots of things I know I will but this is a big memo which have a lot of points <coughs> and one of the things is you want to take a hundred thousand from Measure A. Well, you also want to take four or five hundred thousand from Measure A for the maintenance shed project, and it will be a half a million. I can guarantee that. Okay. So Thank I'm just you thinking you need to, need to wrap up. I will. I just thinking you need to consider right. wrapping up means the finishing. options for the maintenance shed yes. and reduce. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any other comments, questions, Stephen? Uh, yeah. Uh, First, the first comment is uh, uh, related to Eric's uh, report that revenue should be increased by two and a half percent. He also said that uh, he wants to give the employees a three percent cost of living increase. Let's do some quick math. Where does that leave us, better or worse? Of course it leaves us worse, worse off. We've expanded our, um, our, our uh, staff as well as increased the pay ranges and uh, for many of the, the staff people and uh, this needs to be uh, looked at vigorously. Secondly, um, and this is a, a general comment, this budget is <clears throat> incomplete and cannot be considered a reliable indicator of the revenues uh, coming into the district. I'll use it as an example, just one item uh, that I was shut down with at the last meeting, and that was the uh, Heart and uh, Wine Festival. Uh, I did finally get some information after three emails. Uh, Luke was very helpful. Um, 
But what we found out was for this four hour event, we spent, we brought in, I believe, 900 to about 1100 in revenue, and we spent uh, probably equivalent amount on um, staff expenses. Now let me, let me back off that a little bit, uh, because it was very unclear with the reporting that was done. Uh, there was $400 that was not reported in the uh, general uh, report for Susan Press's time. Um, Luke got a reimbursement and Robin got a reimbursement $350 each. Now this is a lot of expenses in a four hour period. Luke uh, uh, let me know that Robin in fact was getting a check for uh, the uh, expenses she incurred in the fall art uh, and wine festival and he was getting uh, reimbursed for money that uh, he used from the uh, kitty, uh, just trying to think, uh, how did he, how did you, petty cash. petty cash, you were, so um, now, petty, I, I, I don't know who gets reimbursed for petty cash, isn't that exactly what petty cash is for, to have cash available for minor expenses and if this is a pre-planned uh, cash payment why are we uh, using petty cash to pay it and lastly I'm going to talk I want you to understand uh, what the definition of collusion is there is a lack of rigor in the accounting here we've got two books going on we've got the cash business and we've got the county business, uh, the county books. And apparently, this is only for the county, but we don't know exactly what's in the safe, what gets doled out. Um, I, I'm sorry, Luke, I, I did look at, uh, uh, there was never a check, at least uh, indicated, uh, made to Robin in the fall. Uh, it was represented that she lost the check and needed uh, more cash I don't know it just this is not the way a business operates and as as representatives for the district you have a fiduciary responsibility and if you know something going on that's not right you you are bearing some of the responsibility so you might want to um, increase your budget for your legal fees statement because it is very disturbing when accusations are made, uh, made that are totally unfounded and Stephen I just have to say that your lack of understanding of financial statements and uh, how financial systems work in government is by no means equivalent with any impropriety that happens in the district because um, we have things under control. You may want to look into educating yourselves how government funding works. Perhaps you'd like to understand what petty cash means and how that's well, yeah, used. I, I, and if you don't understand it, you, you ought to, you, okay. I wrote the policy on it. And so I you're having the employees fund the petty cash. Hey, Stephen, you're on the line. Um, okay. I think you guys are on the line. Anything if there's nothing else from the board, does that mean that we are all done, Mr. No, that doesn't make a statement if I can. Okay. I'd like to uh, commend our staff for bringing an in-house independent accounting system into Marine Wood that has relieved us from doing some of the acrobatics that we've had to do in order to work with the county system. And I'd also like to commend them for the fact that in the past two years at least, we haven't had to borrow funds from the county in order to fund our operations, even though CalPERS and OPEB
compete more regularly and more heavily for our operating funds that it takes to run this district. Yeah. I think they deserve um, not only an accolade, but applause. And I think the focus of certain individuals on minutia, and that is event by event analysis, is missing the point of how we run this organization and how the staff runs the organization. The, let's, let's focus on what's important. What's important and what is driving this district to financial ruin are pension obligations and post-employment health benefits. That's where we need to spend our time and our energy to figure out how to get out of that quagmire, not that we came out even on a wine tasting festival. That's all I have to say. And that's your opinion, your opinion right? not the district attorney's opinion. Okay. Um, I don't think the district attorney would have any opinion well, on this. You case. started the conversation. There's no back and forth. But it's a discussion. No, no it's, it's not. not. It's, it's not. not on the agenda. It's not. It's in response to certain comments that were made by the public. Well, oh, it does say discussion. Okay. So, hearing, is there any further discussion from the board? Hearing none, I have a motion to adjourn. Second. Yep. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you, everybody.